What is up from Beyond the Swamp? My name is Creeper, a member of your Fright Supremacy Security Forces. Back with another quick video with a little bit of news of why I'm here and not the range, and some fan-selected firearms. So let's get on with the news. As well, you can see, I didn't make it to the range. Sadly, my camera hand, uh, man, excuse me, had some real-life issues to deal with, and hopefully I will be going tomorrow. Now, to clear the air, Last time when I did the selections for the firearms that you guys would vote on, I kind of messed up and gave Bulgarian guns, even though they had entered the loser's bracket, another shot. And well, after I figured that out, my video was airing, and well, I just decided to double down, so I may have uh, dropped some krill on making sure Bulgarian guns won, just for transparency, because hey... As we all well know, rigging the vote counts. So, on to the next bit. This is where you, the Whale Gang, have guided what I do throughout these firearms demonstration videos and presentation videos. First up, Alamo wanted to see the K-11 straight pull in 308 with some accuracy action. This is going to be showing up in my next range of video where I will bench this, push that target out. Granted, it's only about 30 yards, but try to get the best grouping I can. Another member of the Whale Gang, a wild fox appears, wanted to see some revolvers. So I went through my collection. I got all my revolvers. Let's get into this because I have actually more than I thought I did. Let's go smallest to biggest, caliber-wise. Starting off with a 1903 Meridian and the 32 Smith & Wesson Long. As you can well see, this gun has seen better days because back then, even though there was a lot of black powder cartridges going around, people still used them because they were cheap and inexpensive and it kind of damaged the wear. Five rounds, you can see we have the nice little Ejector there, double single action. Sadly, due to the age of the gun, the double action works. The single action does not. Next up, an H&R. No particular model on this one. They decided to up the punch but keep the same factor. So this is chambered in the 32 Smith & Wesson Long. Top break action with the extractor, just like the Meridian. However, this one has six rounds over five. Double and single action still work. This was the uh, kind of cheap Saturday night special. It's actually where the phrase uh, came from. Where cheap gun, put it in your pocket, put it in your purse so you can defend yourself, as is the American way. Also in the 32 Smith & Wesson Long, an American favorite, the Colt Pocket Police. This one has a swing out cylinder that we're more used to. Excuse my hand. Six rounds. This one, even for its made, or excuse me, age, believe I dated this one made in 1914, over 100 years old. Still solidly reliable. The lockup on this gun is fantastic. Now for a gun I'm not happy to touch. An RG38. Now these were made in Germany. Kind of a copy of the Smith & Wesson. Six round and 38 special. Double single action. Now this gun does work. But uh, if you go back in some of my older videos, you will find out that this gun was wildly inaccurate. Well, now we know why the uh, previous owner just wanted us to get rid of it when we found it in a box sitting in the back of the armory. It still is a functional firearm, so at least it has that going for it. And uh, a little tale that I was told a while back, just for fun, the RG has uh, gotten the nomenclature that it stands for Rotten Guns. Not too happy I own this one, to be honest. Moving into a better German gun. 
the EAA Windicator in 357. Blued finish, still nice. Six rounds of 38, 38 plus P, plus P plus, or 357. So you have choices when it comes to this gun. Single double action, fantastic little carry gun. It's one of the reasons I picked it up, and well, I didn't have a 357 in my collection, so I had to fix that so I could bring it to you guys. Now for a whale gang favorite. Smith & Wesson 686 and 44 Magnum. Six rounds, double single action, double action. I want to say that's right around a hair over four pounds. That single action, you have the tiniest bit of take up. About two pounds of pressure, this baby just goes. You love the fireballs, and I love shooting it. And uh, one of these days, maybe it'll uh, encourage Phil to pick one of these up, because I know he loves that one too. Last but not least, in the 45 long Colt, a Uberti Cattleman, an Italian copy of the Colt SAA, single action army, single action only. You have your feed gate, bring her to half cock, yes that is the term, go ahead and laugh now. Load your rounds, index your cylinder till you get a full six, hammer all the way back, then forward. Cowboy carry, you would normally carry that underneath an empty chamber, because well, the safety features back then were all weren't existent. So if that hammer ever came back up and came back down, you didn't shoot yourself in the leg. One of my favorite revolvers. And hopefully this has appeased Wild Foxes want to see some revolvers. And I'm pretty sure Peterbilt Nation had some fun there too. So, fun fact, I picked up some more 44 ammo, so next time I get out to the range, that will be showing up. Once again, sorry I couldn't bring you any range action, but if Gasly still wishes, that video I sent is still in his PMs where I take on a gun myth that has been around in the world that you cannot fire steel case and brass case side by side because it will do some malfunction. The results might surprise you. So until next time, you guys stay safe out there.